Well, James Harden showed up, and uh, <laughs> he looks awesome. I thought there was actually a Photoshop uh, picture of him floating around the internet last night. James Harden, obviously, everybody knows, once out of Houston, still once out of Houston, even though they have John Wall on the squad, and he showed up last night looking awesome. It was his first minutes in preseason game. He and John Wall were on the court for the first time together. Everybody behind the scenes is saying that uh, James Harden has been making the decisions for since, like, 2012, <laughs> but James Harden's uh, pissed off about the decisions that are being mm -hmm. made. He wants out. They offered him like $200 million or something like that. He said no to it, and then he showed up looking like that. That's awesome. Good idea. Maybe he'll get cut, I guess this is. I don't know who's going to be like, hey, let's trade for this unless we can get him in shape, I guess, in two months and then get him back, which is probably what you're thinking. Connor, Bas uh, at Boston Connor, big-time NBA fan. Mm -hmm. He said it doesn't matter how fat you are uh, or what your weight is. All you got to do is step back three, and if it falls, it falls. Exactly. That's what James does. And I don't know this narrative that he stinks or anything like that. I think a lot of teams want him but the Rockets are asking for way too much. No, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not talking about him stink. I'm talking about him looking like that. Yeah. Oh, being that thick. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. Because, oh. listen, as somebody who has come back at different weights on a very regular basis, you know, no, like, I was a punter, so I could do that. Like, if the quarterback was showing up, right. you know, like this, yeah. and then disappearing, and then like this, you know, they probably question things and uh, drive and motivation yeah. and uh, things that are going on off the, the court. But also, this could be James Harden saying, I'm not getting a haircut until I get the fuck out of here. And a haircut can really change the way everything looks like that. The NBA is happening, though. Nobody really cares, but it'll be a conversation <laughs> piece. You know, James wants out of Houston or whatever. They offered him whatever, $200 million. He said, no, I don't want it. And, and now it's coming out that he's – and it, fe it feels like the Houston Rockets are trying to do a little PR control here about how they've treated James Harden because James Harden wanting out of Houston is probably not a good look look for the Rockets or whatever. So now it's coming out. He's had control over every decision since 2012, they're saying, behind closed doors. Then more stories are coming out. Like, if there was any time off, James Harden was flying somewhere to party, uh, then he would come back and he would do a 50-point triple-double or whatever, which, by the way, if that was to make him look bad, it didn't. That made, me look even, made him look even better. Now he's demanding a trade. He looks not like James Harden would look. I'm not saying he uh, potentially put on 20 to 30 in the last month or so, but he looks <laughs> Looks like a different player and now he still wants out of there but they're going to start their games here he's showing up what does he have to do just not give effort like how will this play out in a harmonic fashion at all and who would want to play alongside james harden like i've heard that they're asking prices a couple ones and something else for that teams haven't had much success when james harden is the focal point right like the houston rockets have not won the entire thing it always seems like they lose to a good team does james want to change his style of play how does that whole situation end up you think yeah, so James Harden is going to have to remain professional. You know, the one thing about him is he loves playing basketball, and this is his, his occupation, and he's going to go about things a, a, a way that's not normal for, for, for most NBA players, right? He spends time in Atlanta, in Las Vegas, and for a lot of people around the Rockets, that was James Harden being James Harden. You know, across the last few seasons, he's taken a few days, you know, to, to, to travel out of, out of town when he's not, you know, when they have a few off days. I don't, you know, that was part of James Harden, and it still, you know, may be part of James Harden's routine. Of course, we're living in a different time right now. We're dealing with the pandemic, and I think that was one of the major reasons why that was, you know, a bad look for, for a lot of people around the league. They looked at James Harden you know, at, at a club or at this location without a mask on, and you look at it in a different way, given what's going on in the country. Um, but James Harden will be professional. He'll play, and it's not, un, uh, you know, uh, out of the norm for a player of his stature to have control over practice timings or, or, or over, you know, different things around the team. To me, that is pretty much normal as far as what superstars, you know, what, what what's at their leisure. Respect. Um, but at, at the end of the day, the Rockets aren't going to just make a bad deal. They're going to have to wait out this market. I don't think there's a deal on the table right now that they would take. Clearly, there isn't. Um, do you, if you're the Rockets, do you wait out if Ben Simmons becomes available in Philadelphia? That might be the number one trade chip potentially that you can acquire. If he you're can the shoot Rockets. now, right? He can shoot a basketball now, right? Can he shoot? He I, I mean, he, he didn't shoot. I, I, I don't know if he shot any any threes last night, uh, but I, I do know he's trying to become more accustomed <laughs> to shooting those threes. but He was an NBA guy that couldn't shoot a basketball, right? Yeah. He was just so athletic that that's how he made it to the NBA, and then they had to teach him how to shoot. Isn't that what happened with him? He's, he's, I mean, listen, to be an all-NBA player and not be able, you know, to, 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 to have a reliable jumper, I mean, to me speaks to it, what he brings to the table. He's able to Bingo. play high-level defense, all-NBA all defensive team. So I, I, I do think Ben Simmons <laughs> is probably the number one guy that you can go out and get right if you're you know the four teams that he, that, that he's open to a trade you're looking at brooklyn 
likely Miami, Milwaukee. Milwaukee, I'm told, is is unlikely to make a run at James Harden. Uh, Brooklyn does not have the package that suits Houston's needs. Um, and and if you look around, uh, you know Philadelphia, that is is a potential spot if they can get uh, a Ben Simmons. 